To apply standard motion detection to this scene, right click and go to main menu, then go to alarm, video detection, and select the correct camera and make sure it's enabled, hit apply, and then go to region settings. And with standard motion, as we've already explained, any change in pixels anywhere here will trigger an alarm, including these overhanging branches. Now, what you can do with standard motion detection is set up regions with different thresholds for what percentage of the region needs to be occupied in order for an alarm to trigger. This can be one way of customizing motion detection to the environment, but we're still working in the realm of standard motion detection here, and in this situation, it isn't likely to do much about the overhanging branches, which, as the wind moves them, is likely to take up more or less of the region at different times. Let's apply smart motion detection to this scene to see how that improves things. Let's go back to the main menu and AI, parameters, smart motion detection, select the camera and enable. And let's say that the area that we've already marked is a loading bay area. And so we want to be notified when any humans enter the area, but vehicles are regularly in and out. And so we're not interested in being notified when a vehicle enters and we hit apply. Let's see how this works in the real world. Now, whilst the region we drew may not be visible anymore, the box you can see signifies the person has been detected. The smart motion detection continues to pick up the person's movements in the region we defined, but disregards the movement of the overhanging branches.